Hi, this is Brian from Machine Vision Store. Today we're in the lab to reveal the invisible. We're going to do that using a shortwave infrared camera to reveal object features that are invisible to the human eye. We're going to be using the SPS VizTech EXO 990 MGE 1.3 megapixel shortwave infrared camera, COA LM25HC-VIS-SW lens, a variety of near-infrared and shortwave infrared LED lights from LAMAC, the LAMAC IDMU modular light controller, a Matrox Foresight XV6 vision computer, and Simplimax software. We're going to post the complete bill of materials on our website so that you can duplicate the system if you wish. Shortwave infrared is often abbreviated SWIR, S-W-I-R, so we end up calling this a SWIR camera. However, calling it a SWIR camera really doesn't do it justice as it does an excellent job imaging near-infrared and visible light as well. Take a look at this camera's response curve. It delivers high efficiency from blue light at 400 nanometers all the way through the SWIR range to 1650 nanometer. A camera like this deserves a lens that matches its performance. This lens from Koa can image all the way from visible through near infrared all the way through the SWIR range. Not only that, but it's relatively unique because it can do so without having to refocus. So for example, you could have an object going down a conveyor and capture multiple images of that object. Perhaps one image with green light, another image in near infrared, and a couple more images in the SWIR range. And then potentially combine those images in novel ways to reveal things that would be hidden to you otherwise. Let's take a closer look at the LAMAC lights we're using to illuminate the image. This particular SWIR light produces three different wavelengths using three independent channels. Specifically, it has one channel at 1050 nanometer, one at 1300 nanometer, and one at 1550 nanometer. We have another three channel light, which has 1200 nanometer, 1450 nanometer and 1650 nanometer LEDs. This is a 1450 nanometer LED backlight here. This particular backlight produces 940 near infrared light. And this larger panel light produces 850 nanometer. Now you may notice that we have a combination of three, six, seven, eight, nine different channels here, so you might wonder how we control all these channels independently, and that's where the LAMAC ID, IDMU controller has its benefits. This particular controller has a base module with discrete I.O. and an Ethernet port on it, and the controller has eight independent channels output, so we can control the intensity of each channel and the timing of each channel independently. We have an expansion module here in the right with additional I.O. on it and eight more independent channels out. And then on the left, we have a manual adjustment module, which is optional. You can use this to control the intensity of each channel independently, or alternately, you can use the Ethernet interface to software to set up the controller. What type of features can we reveal using this camera? We can detect moisture in materials, bruises in fruit, detect foreign materials such as stones in beans, see through silicon wafer for inspection purposes. We can image through many resin containers. Swear can also be used for estimating the temperature of objects above 250 degrees C. And we can use SWIR for remote observation since these longer wavelengths tend to scatter less. So let's see what we can do with a SWIR camera. I have two bottles here. Both are filled with a clear fluid. One of them contains water, the other contains mineral oil. I really don't know which is which. Just mix them up here, don't know which is which. No way for the human eye to tell. However, if I put them in front of our SWIR camera, the difference is readily apparent. We have one bottle with water in it that's completely opaque, and the other bottle with mineral oil uh, is very translucent. 
That's because water absorbs 1450 nanometer light, whereas the mineral oil does not. Thank you for your interest in revealing the invisible using a SWIR camera. We have additional information, including related products and pricing, on our website at machinevisionstore.com, or just give us a call with any questions. Thank you.